Hey coaches, Austin Kidd here. In this video, we're going to walk you through the newest features in the most recent release of the Synergy Editor Max. The first feature that we're really excited to show you is our new Synergy automated camera integration with the Editor Max. When you log in to the editor, if you have the Editor Max and you also have a Synergy camera, you're going to see this camera tab up here. To access this integration, you're going to select that tab. And when you select this for the first time, you'll actually see a screen here that has a red button um, that's going to ask you to connect the editor to your uh, Synergy Automated Camera, your Keymotion account, in other words. You're going to click that link, and it's going to pull up your default web browser, and you'll be asked to log in and authenticate your Keymotion account. And at that point, you can flip back over here to the editor, and it will look like this. You're going to notice two buttons towards the top. One's going to say recent and the other is upcoming and live. The recent is going to be any recent recordings that uh, you have access to. So that's going to be any games that were on Synergy automated cameras or any of your practice film. So uh, just to clarify, I know coaches are always curious about this. You can't see anybody else's practice film. You can only see game film for other teams but practice film is private to your account. That's set up a little, little differently. So we see a, a recent recordings here. And then if we flip over here to this tab, we're gonna see recordings that are upcoming and that are live. So I set a recording up here with a key motion camera with one of our, our partner schools that we have access to to show you what that'll look like if it is live. And if we wanna access this uh, video, we wanna you know, start live tagging, maybe it's practice, maybe it's a game. The way we do that is first, we're gonna select and schedule ingestion. And what ingestion does is it takes the place of having to uh, record that film, download it, uh, import it, and upload it. It's gonna replace all of that, so we'll have instant access to this uh, recording here. So you can do this for a recording that's already been captured or one that's currently live. And they both look very similar, so we're gonna request ingestion, and then at that point, we're gonna go create edit. I'm gonna turn this into a timeline. I'm going to name it and then we're going to tell it where to open. I like my timelines to open down here at the bottom because that's the, the screen configuration that I'm most comfortable with. And what we're going to see is the timeline is going to start to load in here. It's going to start with uh, the beginning of that recording, even if that was, you know, 30 minutes ago. And it's going to quickly catch up with real time if that recording is still going. So it's live, so obviously it is still going. And you're going to see that timeline continually grow here. All right, so if it was a recording that had already been captured, fully captured, and the capture had ended, we'll see the full context of the timeline, and it's going to slowly start to fill in and load everything in. Um, since this is live, it's going to continually update, and, and the timeline is going to get longer and longer. At this point, we can open up a tagging template, and we can begin live tagging. This is an awesome workflow. Like If you want to live tag, if you, uh, your conference allows bench technology, and you want to live tag behind the bench, you would have access to be able to do that. Uh, if you want to live tag your practices from the comfort of your couch, you could in theory do that or up, you know, from the basketball offices or um, anything of that nature. Additionally, since we requested the ingestion process, this timeline will be available in the timelines tab once it's in, been ingested for all the other users on our account. So it's the auto share feature that we'd see if we were to import or live capture a timeline. The next feature we're really excited to roll out, something that I think a lot of coaches will find really useful, especially if you're sending timelines over from the Synergy site into the editor, is the ability to show user tags only. So it's going to give you the appearance of a clean timeline. You don't have to delete anything out. And all that Synergy data is still going to be tucked in uh, behind your timeline. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. I want to point this out really quickly. You're going to notice a pop-up here on my screen when I logged into the site. I saw this. You're going to start to see this if your account is um, approaching expiration. You want to reach out to your team administrator. It's probably going to be whoever handles video for you or uh, you know, maybe your director of operations. Um, should be able to identify them pretty easily. If you don't know who it is, you can reach out to the email there at the bottom. Let them know you're trying to find out who the account admin is. The account admin can log into their account. They'll, they'll have a users tab. They'll have access to this tab. And from there, they can extend your expiration date another year. If you are the administrator, reach out to your sales rep or just go ahead and reach out to this uh, Synergy support 
email and we'll get you taken care of. So I'm going to dismiss that. All right, so if we want to send a timeline over from the website instead of having to capture this or import it or anything of that nature, we can just go here to the uh, Synergy team site. We're going to select full game video. We're going to send it over to the editor. I'm going to select OK. Might get a prompt that says, hey, do you want to uh, open this up in your editor? And it's going to go ahead and send that over. And when this sends over, we're going to see all that Synergy data in there. And maybe I don't want to see all of this data. Maybe I would like to not delete it so I can quickly access something later. Um, but I want a clean timeline for the sake of, you know, that's how my brain processes things. It looks a little cluttered to me. What I can do is go to my uh, timeline view here. I'm going to go to user tags only, and it's going to give me a clean timeline. Now that I have a clean timeline, one of the other features that we're excited to bring to the service of the app, something that's been kind of tucked away previously, but it's existed, is our two-touch clip creation. So instead of needing to pull up a template to create any clips, we can use our left and right bracket keys to start and stop clips. So the way that looks is we can play our film here. Once we get to an instance that we want to start clipping, I can hit my left bracket key to start. It's going to function as a manual uh, manual clip or manual tag. It's going to continue that clip until I hit the right bracket and at that point it will end the clip. So I've created one there. Do another left bracket to start, right bracket to end, and I've created two clips. We can change those hotkeys if we'd like. On a PC there's going to be a hamburger menu up here in the top left. On the MacBook we'll go to tools and then from that next option or menu will hit options, select hotkeys. We can see all of our hotkeys here, what those keys are set as. We can switch them up. This function in the hotkeys menu is going to say start clip and stop clip. So let's see if I can find that. Start new clip, stop new clip, left bracket, right bracket. If I wanted to change that, I simply select here, hit the key that I want. So maybe I want it to be the letter K. I hit OK and now I've made that change. If it's something else, so let's say if I hit my left bracket here, okay, it's gonna say, hey, left bracket's already assigned to something else, so I can't really mess that up. Set it back to right bracket, okay. I can add tags uh, or label these clips in multiple ways. The easiest way from here, if I don't wanna pull open a template, it's gonna be to right click, add user tags, and I can just type in my tag here or filter through my options. I can also pull up a template, pull this up quickly, Get zoomed in here to the section that I want. Okay, so maybe I have some hustle plays and that's what I clipped and I want to go back. I can select a clip and add this label to that clip. And that's how our new user tags only feature works as well as our two touch clip creation. Once I'm ready to move these clips into a custom edit, there's several different ways I can do that. Uh, the first is to create a new custom edit, or I can pull up an existing custom edit. So I have a Dallas Scout going on right here. I can double click, open that up. I can select one clip and move that single clip into an edit. I can also click, hold, and drag and highlight multiple clips and pull those all into my custom edit. From here, we've added another feature. This is the next one I'm excited to show you all. It's our autoplay toggle. This is another feature that was tucked away in the app, a little more difficult to use. I think a lot of coaches will use this. And this is the instance, uh, uh, this is the example that I would give. Like, let's say we're in the office watching film and we want to uh, play through all these clips. I would want autoplay on when I get to the end of this first clip it's going to automatically start playing that second clip. Let's say somebody walks into the office. I've got guys in and out coming in to watch film. I'm working on a scout. I've got stuff I'm pulling up for them. Um, it, you know, Maybe I don't want this to keep playing because if somebody comes in right now, I'm not going to remember where I left off. This thing's going to keep rolling all the way through the playlist and, and loop back through. I can switch this with the simple toggle button here to auto play off. And what's going to happen at that point, I'll go back to a shorter clip so you can see it in action, is once that clip gets to the end, it's going to automatically pause and then I have to manually advance so that playlist isn't going to run away from me. So a nice feature there that's hopefully going to make your life a little easier.
Another feature in our newest release is our snapshot feature. The way that works is I don't necessarily have to pause the film, but if I want to take a uh, what you might call a screenshot of the screen, I simply select this button and it's going to take a snapshot of what the screen looks like at that point. I can either copy it to my clipboard or I can save it to a file. It's going to save on my desktop. Uh, maybe I want to save it for future reference. But an easy way to do this is maybe there's an alignment here. It looked like a double drag, so I can copy this to my clipboard. I can go in here. I can create a slide really quickly. And then I can control V, control paste. That's my command. And I can throw that snapshot in there. And then I could even put a text overlay on this to say double drag alignment. I can extend that duration of that slide. Um, but it's also saved my clipboard so I could go open up a PowerPoint and drop that clip in there as well. Do some markings on it, something of that nature. Um, I could also do those markings once I post it here using my text overlay feature. But we'll save that for another day. Um, endless possibilities there, but something that uh, was a request by the coaches. And we, we got to throw that in there for you all. So uh, if you have any feedback, please continue to send that our way. Always looking to improve the editor. And the last thing I want to show you is our new uh, slide workflow. So we have some new features in here, and to get this rolling, I'm going to actually pull up some slides that I have converted to, I believe, JPEGs. So I took a personnel PowerPoint here. I've converted those slides to yep, JPEG files. So I have multiple here. I uh, did some of the Dream Team. And let's say I've got my personnel edit in here, and I want to add those slides in. What I can do is go uh, to my Add Slides menu. I'm going to Add Image Slide. And I want to pull all of these in, all six of these personnel slides. I'm going to drag and drop. I can also use my uh, shortcuts to, uh, on a Mac. It's Command C, I believe. On a PC, it's Control C to copy. So uh, I would do Control or Command A to highlight all these. Control C to copy them. Control V to paste them all. So now I can do multiple. I get a preview. I can move these around and I can also click in here and rename these slides so I can say uh, name those and I can move that to where I wanted. I get a preview of it. I could go through and do those for all the slides. I'm going to hit OK and it's going to add those slides directly into my custom edit. Hopefully this video has given you a pretty good feel for the new features in our most recent release of the Synergy Editor Max. If you have any comments, if you'd like to see any additional videos that detail anything we cover today um, a little bit deeper, please drop a comment below or reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to do that for you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.